if places like Planned Parenthood weren't around, then abortion would be really unsafe and we would just be sending women to places that would be unsafe and they would be dying by the thousands. And Planned Parenthood's goal is about preventing abortion and it's about making abortion safe and making it rare. And that really sounded about what I believed in. I looked at the ultrasound screen and I saw the whole profile of a baby on the screen. And I was pretty excited when I went in the room and as soon as I saw that baby on the screen, that excitement kind of left. Um, I suddenly felt pretty anxious and was thinking that this could be a really horrible image. Uh, the cannula made its way to uh, the baby and started uh, poking the baby in the side. And, you know, the baby wasn't moving. And I thought, okay, well, of course not. Of course it's not moving because uh, babies at this stage don't feel anything. That's what I tell women all the time. When they ask me if my baby's gonna feel pain or feel anything, I tell them no. All of a sudden, uh, the baby woke up. I mean, it seemed to just wake up and the baby started moving and the arms and legs started uh, moving and it appeared that the baby was trying to move away from uh, the cannula. And I just, I couldn't believe what I was watching. And then the doctor had to keep moving the cannula closer to the baby because it was making progress moving away. The last thing that I saw on the screen was um, this perfect little um, backbone uh, of the baby. And on an ultrasound, the, the backbone is really bright white. And that was the, the very last thing that I saw uh, twist and then and go into the tube. We finished up the day, I, I went home, I called my friend, uh, Laura, who had also worked uh, at the Bryan Clinic with me and was no longer uh, working at Planned Parenthood anymore, and told her about what I had witnessed. And she, when I started describing it, uh, she had never seen anything like that either. She made me stop. And she just said, I can't, I can't listen to any more. Then I, I started thinking about all the women I lied to unintentionally, but you know, Planned Parenthood had told me that their baby's not gonna feel any of that and their baby's not gonna feel any pain. And, and so when the women asked me that, and they asked me that all the time, I mean, Women asked me that probably hundreds of times, and, and every time I would just immediately answer, no, absolutely not, because that's what Planned Parenthood had told me to say, and that's what I believed. And I just thought, what if these women had known the truth? You know, would they have made that choice? They asked the question because it mattered to them, and I had just given them a lie. Monday I went back to work and I was just hating it. I was just dreading it. And we were doing medication abortions that day. And I was sitting in my office and I was looking at these women coming in and out of the clinic and they were walking to their car and they were holding these brown bags. And I knew that in the bag was the medication abortion pills, the regimen. And I just sat there and I was thinking, I'm still doing it. I just started to cry and I, I just thought, where am I gonna go? Because, you know, all of my so-called friends were either working at Planned Parenthood or affiliated with Planned Parenthood in some way. I looked out the window and I, I saw these two women um, praying outside of the clinic. And I, I felt like God was telling me to go. You know, the day that I saw the abortion procedure, I didn't know that I would one day 
be here. I didn't know that I would be working in the pro-life movement because I wasn't angry. I wasn't disgruntled. I just didn't want to work at Planned Parenthood anymore. I just didn't want to take part in any more abortions. I didn't want my hands to be involved in that work anymore. And, you know, God had different plans. And, you know, I heard somebody say one time, if you want to make God laugh, tell him your plans. And, and that's definitely been the situation for me through all of this. I wasn't ever sure that I would feel comfortable going and praying out in front of the clinic that I ran. I didn't know how uncomfortable that would feel. I know it works. And, you know, I didn't leave because I wanted attention. I left because I was following God's will. And, you know, every time you're out there in front of the clinic, it is stirring up the conscience of the men and women going in, and it's stirring up the conscience of the clinic workers who are there. Every time you're out there, people are watching what you're doing. People are watching you pray. I've gotten several calls from other Planned Parenthood directors and other Planned Parenthood workers who have left the abortion industry because they felt like God was calling them out. And, you know, they haven't gone public like I have, but they left and now they're reaching out to me because they want to talk to somebody about it. They want to talk to, you know, the things that they witnessed. And so you never know how much impact the work that you're doing will have on another person and so that's why we just have to you know keep up what we're doing and we have to be willing to say to Planned Parenthood and those that support Planned Parenthood as long as you are there as long as your doors are open as long as you are continuing to provide abortions we will be there and not that we're going to be there fighting you but we're going to be there bringing hope to the people that work in that center, and we're going to be there to bring hope to the men and women going in there who feel like they have no hope. We're going to be there to bring them hope.